left this here so let's make sure that our image is going to be 100% right now we are on the right class right here so let's insert all those cars and image we have the class car image so let's set its width to 100% format the name title and body of our car we have our car model inside of the cars so let's put first our name we're gonna make sure that its font size is increased to some 2.4 RAM then go to our okay it had frozen to our title make sure that we have the font size equal to the default font size text is transform I want all the upper case it finally we have our body here I'm going to reduce the font size how to half of this 1.2 RAM and we had some letter spacing of some point 16 RAM save and see how this looks okay better remember that we have a border right here on the right side come here and inside of this car selector even add my car one and technically this all could be inside of our cars right of our car each of them let's just remove from here and put here it could be here and let's save in each of the car we're gonna just keep adding some amount of padding first like 1.6 vertically and 24 pixels horizontally so then we're gonna put our border to the right one pixel solid and each type is gonna be color green okay as you know the last one doesn't need to have this so make sure that you say and last type it can be this we're gonna say board and right set to none let's save this save here also with road okay we can see this border to the right side so let's make sure that we have the final oh ho 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 border radius that's not what we want no we still don't have let me inspect this and see what's the problem border right okay one pixel solid here it doesn't really have okay you must know why this is not happening sometimes you must think easy I made that just to test your knowledge this one is the last child isn't it yes and we've set this to don't have that margin that I mean that border so if we simply make a duplication here this can be you're gonna see what's gonna happen right now we have okay just change the content here I'm going to pause the video fill all and I'm going to come back now that I have completed I'm going to save and see here I have very good so now we can work with our buttons right so let's come here and say button what are we going to put is the color to be color gray let me actually resize this I'm going to put some padding this one is going to be so small just point point eight RAM just have some border right here of one pixel solid this time I'm going to color gray 
and the font size is gonna be that one default font size let's save and see how this is gonna behave very good very good I'm actually liking this course yes that's it you have here your cars your cars also but we must have some padding right here don't you think yes let's add that we should have that padding here because we have defined you padding bottom it's a small let's see if we don't have in our elements here you see this okay we have margin bottom small if we give a padding to the bottom small this is actually gonna be just to the bottom so let's see if it's much better if we simply define a margin bottom small or even padding bottom small because it doesn't make really sense if we won't be using the internal space of the element because padding is going to give the space inside of the element but for simplicity let's put you pad margin where we have the margin bottom small let's change what is margin to padding and we're gonna take an advantage if we want in the future of formatting our element using the extra tool RAM that we're going to give to the padding bottom for that so let's see if this now works and yeah open here open here very good I'm liking this yes that's it we have developed our project and I like this Oh, we have this test drive. I was forgotten. And I can't make such a thing as that. Well, this is so easy to really implement after our model scars. What we can do here is simply come with an anchor link, go to nowhere, and just insert that icon, right? This icon. Let's just come font awesome. This is solid. F A calendar day. I'm going to say the title here is gonna be simply book a test drive and save. This is just for my main okay file from the page so I won't be creating a component from this inside of my show I'm going to put the style related to this icon here I can simply start searching that section same brand cards where I have what is the name of this section same brand models okay let me just copy it Check the section right here. Oh no, I didn't copy. In this section, I'm going to have its position set to relative because it's the parent of what I'm going to be giving absolute position. So let me put this right here. Here's where you should be. And saving it. Then inside, I'm going to put the test drive element to have an absolute position. So, absolute font size, I'm going to put for RAM the color. You already know that is color light blue. I'm going to say from bottom. I want to have some 30% and from the right I'm going to start with 7% I still remember this I'm going to my show save and see what we have here 
nothing okay let's see if it's somewhere here no obviously this one needs to have a class which is the test drive that we have used it there see if something happens yeah it's happening right here okay but if you think this is overlapping you can simply push it more to the right side it's up to you i have done the job so let's move to the next lecture where we're gonna start making these shopping tools it's so easy